What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Listen Doctor Radio, and I am your host of the show, the Listen Doctor. What's good, everybody? Today's episode is about a father of five being killed in cold blood in the streets of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, a lot of people sending me this story. And a lot of people wanted to see what I was going to say since they called me a self-hater. Since they called me I hate my own people. Since they said I hate black people. They wanted to know what the Listen Doctor was going to say on it. My views are shocking. It's going to shock you. It's going to piss a lot of you off. But that's what I do every time I do a video. So it don't matter, right? Now, before you guys go left on me. I agree with everything you guys are saying. This man was killed in cold blood. The cops need to be charged as a fucking criminal. They need to be charged the same way we shoot somebody. They charge us. They need to be charged exactly like this. The story is totally fucked up. I'm going to let you guys watch the video. And then I'm going to give my input. Then I'm going to ask you guys on Facebook Live. Once it's done. Once I'm done with this. To ask you guys, what do you think about this story? I'm going to go on Facebook Live in a couple of minutes after I do this story. Right now, we are live on YouTube and iHeartRadio and Speaker Radio and Serial, 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 Serial XM. The channel to find me at Sirius XM Radio is channel 504, channel 504, straight up like New Orleans, 504, channel 504 Talk Radio. Holler at me right now at the listendoctorradio.com. It's www.listendoctor.com. You already know what it is. Logo in the background. Check it out if you didn't see it. Let's go. Everybody go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. You're in my everything. Snapchat. I'm even on that shit now. So let's go straight to the video. You tell me how you feel about it. It's very hard to watch. It's very painful. Rest in peace to the young man who lost his life. Take a look. Tell me how you think about it. Tell me what you think about it. And right now in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, calls for the police chief to resign after a deadly confrontation between a black man and officers was caught on camera. We do want to warn you, the video is graphic. ABC's Maggie Rooley is live with new developments today. Maggie. Yeah, Judy, protesters are still in the streets after that controversial police shooting last night in Baton Rouge. Residents there demanding justice for what they see is just one more example of police brutality. According to the Baton Rouge police, the two officers responding to a call about a man with a gun approached 37-year-old Alton Sterling, who was reportedly selling CDs outside a convenience store. What happens next is hard to watch. The amateur video appears to show the two officers struggling with Sterling. One officer in the video yelling, gun. Then several shots are fired. Authorities say Sterling died at the scene from multiple gunshot wounds to his chest and back. The police department issuing a statement saying the officers were threatened by a gun and that the investigation is ongoing. The shop owner had apparently given him permission to sell items in front of a store and Louisiana is an open carry state. Protesters in Baton Rouge rallying in support of Sterling's family today. As a mother, I have now been forced to raise a son who is going to remember what happened to his father. Their son standing beside her, overcome by emotion. He had to watch this as this was put all over the outlet. The Louisiana governor announced that the Justice Department will be the lead agency investigating Sterling's death. Back to you, Judy. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got more videos on that. I'm going to show you uh, different angles of what happened. But to get the gif out, these cops killed this father of five in cold blood because they didn't feel threatened. They didn't feel threatened at all because they wanted to. They knew they could kill him. They knew they can get away with it. And like a guy just said, maybe if the citizens in the world would have that power, if a cop stop you and don't find nothing on you and take your time away that you can't get back, you should be able to whoop his ass. You should be able to shoot the cops. If a cop is harassing somebody else and you see that it's your citizen and you say that that cop is don't have no reason to stop that person, you should be able to whoop that cop's ass. Then maybe the cops will stop. But maybe, just maybe, the cops will say, you know what? These fucking people can whoop my ass too. They can kill me too. So I'm not going to do that anymore. But the cops know they don't. They can get away with any fucking thing. And I hate this because I have family members who cops. And I hate that everybody say, fuck the cops. Every rapper, everybody who's seeing this story, fuck the cops. Until you need the cops. Then you call them. Then you call 911. That's hypocritical for us to say, fuck the cops. But we need the cops and we call them. We call them. Same with the fucking people out there in the street. Protesting. This is why I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem with it killing, killing this man. Yes, I have a problem. But I have a problem with my black people because... And I guess I'm going to be the, the hunky, uh, the bitch-ass nigga from saying it. The black sheep. But I have a problem with my black people because... Same motherfuckers out there protesting this shit in East Baton Rouge. How many murders have East Baton Rouge had to this year? And I, I have it on the computer. But I actually have it on the computer. They had 45 motherfucking murders in Baton Rouge in a span of two months. In a span of two months. Out of those cases who've been convicted, none. Many. Nobody came forward. In the black community. Why nobody protesting for that? Why? Why? Because they don't give a fuck. They only care when it's a white guy killing us. They only care when it's an officer killing us. That's it. Protest the shit we need to protest. That's why I have a problem. Because as black people, we do that a lot. I cannot just... Talk to my fans of all races and be hypocritical and just because I'm black and say, yeah, fuck the cops. But guess what? When I'm a manager of Domino's, when some shit happened in my restaurant, guess what I did? I called the fucking cops. So it's hypocritical for me to sit on a video and tell you guys that fuck the cops like everybody else saying. And I know I'm going to need them. I have family members who cops. Everybody here family member has probably been a cop or in law enforcement or something. All cops are not bad cops. It's the bitch ass cops that the news that y'all employ that was nothing in high school, that was nerds in high school, that got picked with in high school, they didn't have any fucking girlfriend or no social life. You get those guys cops, you get those guys guns and badges. Sorry, you get those guys guns and badges and they feel tough. They feel like they the shit. It's like hiring a fucking guy in McDonald's or something. You he was nobody before. He he everybody used to tease him. Then you give him a manager position, then he think he's the shit. Well, I can do what I want now. I can fire people. I can tell people this. This is what we doing in the police department. You need to give a cop a psychological test to see if he's able to behave to be able to handle a situation. As you can see in the video, they had this man on this way. They had this man armed this way. How the fuck was they threatened? His gun was in his pocket. So he was going to try to and take away. They were already bending this man's fucking arm back. Then the other had, the, nigga, the other cop had his fucking head on a man's neck under a fucking hot car that was running. The man was probably moving and saying, this shit is hot. This car is hot. Like my fucking neck is under it. You know how the car gets when it's cut off and it sits there. The bitch was still on. That's hot smoke. That's hot steam. That's hot. It was hot as fuck on that car. These cops did that because they know they can get away with it. The police chief, the two cops need to get arrested. 
And I'm not going to say like everybody else saying, they need to get killed just like this guy got killed. That's stupid. What? It's not going to end that way. It's not going to end. Because guess what? The people who kill these cops, the people who you kill, they people don't want to come kill you. Then you're going to want to kill them. And it's going to stop. It's not going to never stop. What we need to do is pray for these people. What we need to do is get these people to get fired. Starting with the police chief. Starting with the fucking police commissioner. If he don't do anything about it. And everybody else in his department. I know East Baton Rouge is racist. We got some racist cops. Because when I was in East Baton Rouge a couple of years ago. In fact, a year ago. Me and a lot of people who I worked with got stopped. And I was a fucking delivery driver. Going in the neighborhood. But the guy who was the driver who had a fancier car than what he supposed to have. Being because he was black. He wasn't supposed to have a Jaguar. A nice Jaguar. They thought he stole it. They thought he was just riding around fucking giving people free pieces on a Jaguar that we stole. But, like I'm saying, I don't want people to get me wrong on this. The, and the cops said that they were threatened, but the man who owned the store said he gave this man rights to sell shit outside his store. So who called the cops on this man? Everything is being leaked out the story, and I fuck, and it's fucked up. But like the woman said, now the cops are leaving me to raise a child. Newsflash, on my own, they've been doing that. They've been taking the black man out of your household. The reason why they can take the black man out of the household because it's so easy. Because they know if the black man is not in the household, the generation of kids are gonna go down. They're not gonna listen to their mama. They're gonna rebel. Daddy is the only one that can get these kids under control. They don't the want to can take these kids and make them into something. Mothers do a good job. I ain't lying. They got some black mothers on their own that do a good job. But a lot of these mothers don't give a fuck. They let the kids run off and do whatever the fuck they want. They get tired of talking to them. They end up in jail. They know this young man's going to wind up being locked up in jail. If he doesn't have the right people in him to show him the way. This man is dead and gone. And Baton Rouge are riding. You shouldn't be riding. You shouldn't be. The only reason you should have a reason to ride. I'm giving you a being honest. The only reason you should have a reason to ride. If these cops get acquitted. They don't get charged. Then. Yes. But then again I say No. Because the same state and the same city you riding in and throwing up and blowing up shit and breaking buildings and doing this, you have to live there. It's not like y'all gonna move away from Baton Rouge. You still have to live there. You still have to call the cops if something happened. You think they're gonna come after you didn't break their shit up? You think they're gonna come to you if you need them? Why you think the police departments take a long time to come to our fucking calls? Because they be saying to themselves, now nah, I really know why. They be saying to themselves, why would I go to the day house and they already call me pig, fuck you, faggot, and fuck the cops? Why would I come to your rescue? Why? If I knew I'm just going to get called that anyway, if something happens that comes out of line. Why would I come to your aid and help you? I wouldn't. So that's why they take a long time. Because they figure they're just going to kill each other anyway. By the time I get there, they're going to be dead. So, oh well. That's what they figure. You know why? Because that's what we do as black people. But I'm the bad person because I'm perting that shit out. I'm the faggot. I'm the bitch nigga because I'm perting that shit out that we do do. And everybody keeps saying it. Every race does it. White people do it too. They do it too. They only put us on the station because they want us to look bad. If they know that, why would you be out there doing bad shit? It's common sense. If you know they're going to put us on TV and portray us as a stupid ass person that they think we are, why would you go on TV? We need to wake up, people. We need to wake up. Black, white, Mexican, everybody. We are all God's creation. 
at the end of the fucking day, if you like it or not, we all came from somebody white or black. Down the head, down the line, go look up your ancestry shit. You got somebody white in your family. It's not about white and black. It's not. They want us to think that. It is not about white and black. It's about right and wrong in this case. The right, they shouldn't have shot that man. The wrong, he shouldn't have been out there for to give them a reason to shoot him. And I know you guys might be saying, how the fuck did he give him a reason to shoot him? One, because we all know our parents tell us, as a man, you already have what? Three two tracks on you already. Or really three. You black, you're a man, and they see that as a weakness. You already have two strikes. You're black and you're a man, and they hate that. That we have the smartness. They hate that. Why do you think they got rid of the fucking Black Panthers? Because they were organized, they were smart. They hated that. I ain't gonna keep you guys much longer. I'm gonna go live right quick and ask you guys how you feel. I really, really need these cops to get arrested. And I'm gonna try my hardest. My fans, please go out there and sign a petition to get these cops arrested. Get these cops off the streets. Let's take back our communities. Let's take back our schools. Let's take back our churches. Let's take back our people. Rest in peace to the Father. And I give my deepest, deepest condolences to the family. I lost my dad when I was two years old. Too young to even know how he even looked anymore. This boy, this young man, he's 12 years old. Got to watch on TV. His daddy's last words was, don't shoot me. That is fucked up. I'm feeling for the young man. And I know a lot of people thought I was going to say some bad shit. Tell me if I said anything bad. Print it out to me. I'll take the feedback. Tell me if I said anything wrong. Tell me if I said anything that was a lie. I'll take the feedback. I just want my black people to know if we want this shit to stop, maybe, just maybe, we need to start giving these cops reason to do it. Let's start caring about each other. Because they don't care about us. Let's start caring about each other. Until next time, this is the Snap Radio. Rest in peace. Hope you get the justice you need. Hope the family get the justice they need. Still not gonna bring back the father. But it'll make you guys live a lot easier. And I'm asking the mom, the mother of this young boy, if you guys wanna come to my show, call on the show. The number to call is 504 289 5057. Email me at jshell564 at gmail.com. Or go straight, straight to the show, listendoctor.com. And email me and I'll get you guys on so you guys can tell how you feel about your side of the story and what your dad was doing and what your husband was doing. Please, please pray for this family in this time of need.